Hey, I'm Chris Troy, host of St. Clair County Resource Moment in History, and I'm here at the original homestead of Gustav and Claire Schwab. Now, Gustav, along with his brother Albert, ran a very successful tavern by the name of the Schwab Brewing Company here in St. Clair, which was along the St. Clair River. This Queen Anne-style home was originally designed by Gustav and first wife Nellie Schwab in 1902, while they resided at 219 4th Street here in St. Clair, along with their five children. Following the design of the home in 1902, Nella was struck down with tuberculosis, passing away in 1903, leaving Gustav along with their five children. Now, one of Schwab's business associates was Lemick Offengelt from the Offengelt Bottle Works in Detroit. He had a daughter who was looking for a position as a nanny, so the match was perfect. Clara Offengelt became the children's nanny in 1904. Along with being the nanny, Offengelt also took care of the household needs. As the children grew, so did the attraction between Schwab and Offengelt. So in early 1905, the couple were married at the First United Methodist Church here in St. Clair. The old plans for the home were dusted off in 1905, and this house was constructed. Now being the lady of the house, Clara moved her sister Josephine into the home to serve as the home's domestic. Along with Josephine came her son, who also helped with the chores in the home. Two years following the completion of the home, Ella Schwab, the eldest daughter, came down with muretic poisoning and passed away at the age of 16. Her funeral was held in the front parlor of the home. In 1936, Clara passed away, leaving Josephine with Gustav until his death in 1956. The house was then sold to Charles France, who served as the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The Frances and their nine children lived in the home until 1969, when they relocated to Canada. The house was then bought by Robert Bouchop and his family. Along with being a home, Robert ran a real estate office in the front parlor, giving the home its first use as a commercial property. In the 1980s, the home was sold to Mark Sign from Sign Realty. At this point, the home had become business 100% and started the home's decline. After leaving the home and moving into the mall, the house sat empty for a few years until being purchased to be served as a gift shop. Uniquely yours was a failing business, and again, the building sat empty for a number of years. In 1999, a local preservationist took the structure, convincing the city of St. Clair to convert the home zoning into multi-density, and the restoration began. Fourteen years later, the home has now been restored to its original vision of Gustav and Nella and has been featured on the home tour and in several magazine articles. For Moment in History Extra, hey, I'm Chris Troy, reminding you all that history that lives in all of us.